Thank you. The International Service for Human Rights regrets that the report of the SG on reprisals has been postponed to the 18th session in September. If the Sec Secretary General's report is to be an effective tool to prevent intimidation and reprisals against those that provide the Council with information, it has to be timelier. Unfortunately, the postponing of the report testifies to the lack of attention the Council continues to pay to this issue. In its resolution 12.2, the Council has asked the SG to compile and analyse any available information from all appropriate sources of alleged reprisals. This should include, in particular, but not exclusively, information of the special procedures. Resolution 12.2 also asks the SG to develop recommendations on how to address the issue of intimidation and reprisals more broadly. Unfortunately, this part of the mandate has not been implemented to date, as no concrete mechanisms has been, have been proposed. We also feel that the absence of a larger number of cases in the report proves that individuals do not feel safe to report alleged cases of reprisals, given that they have already suffered punishment for having cooperated with the UN in the first place. Pro protecting victims of reprisals is therefore crucial a crucial aspect of the Council's response to this issue. And we, in, we look to all involved, including states, OHCHR, field presences and civil society, to improve their record in this regard. On Friday, 10 June, ISHR will hold a side event to explore this issue more closely. Pending the development of a more effective response by the Council, the SG's report is an important opportunity for victims of reprisals to have their story told and for states to reflect on a more adequate response. We therefore look forward to the presentation of the re report in September and offer the following specific recommendations in that regard. The report should include follow-up information to past cases, including those submitted at the 14th session of the Council. And the report should also benefit from a standalone interactive dialogue with the High Commissioner introducing the report on behalf of the Secretary General. This would allow states concerned to brief the Council.